Hello, and welcome to the Soul of Innovation podcast. I am the host, Thomas Anglero, and my mission for this podcast is to share with you those private thoughts and reflections that I have being one of the top keynote speakers around the world on technology, motivation, and innovation. I hope you truly enjoy all the lessons I share, all the dots I connect that sometimes are just really difficult to get out, but it's all for you. I truly hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Soul of Innovation podcast. I am Thomas Anglero, and I'm fired up for all the opportunities that you have right now. Today is March of 2020, the year 2020. We're in the middle of this corona thing. And let me tell you, everybody's full of fear. Everybody's scared. What you need to do right now, I want you to grab a hold of your earplugs, whatever way you're listening to me, and understand this. This is the greatest moment in your life for opportunities. For you to achieve and benefit from those opportunities, you have got to let go of that crappy ass fear. Just let go of that. Everyone is in fear. Everybody's in fear for health reasons. Uh, f- uh, help them fear because of life reasons. They're afraid of getting mugged. They're afraid of going outside. They're afraid of somebody coughing on them. All these things. That means who are the leaders? Who, as my, my wonderful wife says, who are our superheroes who are going to get us out of that? The answer is you. I'm, I'm dead serious. The answer is you. Don't get scared. Don't get freaked out. That's not where you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go, hell yeah, it's me. Hell yeah, I'm the one. Everyone's in fear. This is the moment. Every every company, every individual you know is looking for someone who's talking positive. Someone they can say, damn, you know what? I believe you. I trust you. Can we talk some more? Or if they're, if they're a future boss. You know, companies right now, they, they had to let go of their people and all that. But in a few weeks, a few months, when this thing is over and these companies say we need to stand on our feet, they're going to ask, who were the people who led? Who are the people that we want to lead our new company? Because we can't go back to the old way business was. We have to create a new business. Who is that person that's going to help us? That's what I mean by this moment now, while everybody's in fear, this is your moment to stand up. This is your moment to not be like the sheep of everybody else and be walking around in fear, be so damn scared. In the last few weeks since this thing started, this has been, to me, I have have been, <clears throat> I have, have not been this busy in a quite some time. I've not had so many people almost 100% love every idea I have about don't live in fear, Look at it the other way. Look at this opportunity, and people are jumping worldwide. I had a call this morning with from people from twelve different countries, popping and jumping worldwide, saying this is phenomenal. It is it. The key to success, the key to take your soul and turn it to a positive soul, the key to innovate your soul, is for right now. Say, I am not full of fear. I don't believe in fear. This is my moment. The second you live in fear, it's proven your body produces a hormone, which then reduces reduces your um, your, uh, immune system. Do you want, do you want to walk around with a compromised immune system? No. So stop living in fear. The second you're in fear, you're going to be more susceptible to getting sick. The second you're in the opposite of fear, which is confidence, which is driven, which is what I talked about in another episode, when you have that grit oozing out of you. Then you're on. Game on, baby. This is your moment. Let me tell you how to do it, depending upon your situation. Okay? I talked to my cousin last night. Fantastic phone call. She's halfway across the world. We use video conferencing. And I gave her a similar pitch. And she's the one who, like, keyed me off to this thing. I said, we have such a good phone call. I said, I got to share this with the whole world. So I'm going to share it with you. All right? She's, if you're in the situation that she's in, let hope this helps you. She's in a job for 25 years. She doesn't like it. She wants to change positions when this whole crisis thing is over. I told her, what you do now, this crisis is going to take a while. So this is what you do. If what you do now, you make a list of what are the top five companies, just companies you, you, you admire, 
that uh, you mention their names. Let's say, in, I'll say into te technology companies, right? You could be into hairdressing. You could be into also into wine. So technology doesn't drive you. But just an example, technology companies. We have Apple. We have Microsoft. We have Google, right? We have IBM. These companies. Oh, I say their name like wow. Well, those are the companies you're going to target and you're going to interview with. Those are the companies you're going to contact their HR people right now. All right? If you're nervous about doing that and you're like, Thomas, you're pushing too hard. Got you. I got a plan for you as well. What you're going to do is the following. You're going to have a warm-up list of companies so that when you get to your top five, you're ready. You're, you have your A game because you're a little bit nervous now. So once you can create another list, right? So this is the pre-list of companies that you find it interesting, companies that you just want to practice your story. You want to practice your A game because you need time to warm it up because you're not there yet. You're so used to, maybe you spent the last 20 years hanging out with a bunch of people who all they talk about is negativity. All they talk about is the cover of the damn New York Times or the Post or whatever country you're in. You know, every, every country, every city has some paper printing crap that keeps you a negative think. Forget negative think. Forget those friends of yours that took negative think. This is your moment, man. Do you understand me? If there's anybody around you, if there's anybody you talk to on a daily basis who's constantly coming with negative things, stop talking to them. Stop communicating with them. Tell them you're on hiatus. You're on vacation. You're in incognito. I don't give a crap. Keep them out of your life. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn you up. And you're going to start practicing your story. For the last 25 years, I've worked in this job. I haven't been happy. But I have refused to live in fear. I want to interview you with you for your company because I'm that person that when this whole crap is over, I'm going to be the leader that's going to help you out of this. And together, me and you, we're going to make this company a success. That's your storyline. That took me about 10 seconds to say. That's what you say with your pre-list of, say, 10 companies. You practice that line with a stranger who you never met before, and you get good at that. Then when you get really good at that, and we're talking about in a short time frame, you go to your top five, and then you hit them with that passion. You hit them with that grit. You hit them with your story. Do you understand me? When I told this to my cousin last night, because we were videoing, I could see she was scared. I said, you okay? She goes, yeah. She goes, you know, the way you said that was great. But, but I need time. I understand that. I understand that, that not everybody's so wired up, right? I understand also because I was there that I was living in fear, listening to all this negative news, listening to conspiracy theories. That stuff keeps you really negative. It's really hard to lift your head up when you listen to all these damn conspiracy theories. And then I simplify my life. And I said, who I am, I control. Who you are, you control. So I just got rid of all those negative people. I got rid of all the negative information. And I took ownership of my thoughts. Take ownership of your thoughts. Those are your thoughts. No one else. Own them. Every thought is a thought with picturing you being where you're supposed to be, doing what you're supposed to do. Be driven by who you are were meant to be this is your moment this crisis is an opportunity and i'm telling you only a few people are going to stand up and i want it to be you right now if you're just doing things you've always done in, in business I'm, 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 I'm kicking off my things i have my meetings still i'm working from home you know da, 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 da. that ain't it that's business as usual. You, when the whole thing settles and we come back, does anybody can remember you? No. How do you become legendary? It's now. What you do now will be remembered in history. But you have to do something so significant. And all you got to do is be you. All you got to do is stand up amongst the crowd. If you're working in a company, you got clients and stuff like that, I want you to call your clients and say, how are you? You have a daughter. How's she doing? Have conversations. Be that special person. Be that someone. If you're in a job and you want a new job, you start investigating that new job. I want you to take everything as the most exciting moment there's ever been. 
this is your moment. I don't know how else to say it. I keep repeating myself, and I apologize. But if, if I took this over video, you would see me turning red, and I don't turn red that easy, right? I'm so excited for you. This is it. This is that moment. Don't freak out. But what you do today will lift you financially, emotionally, to the place you've always dreamt you deserve to be. Grab life by the throat. Grab this moment by the throat. And own your thoughts. Those are your enemy. The people around you are noise. Shut them out. Once you shut them out, then shut out all that negative thoughts in your head. And go for it. I mean, really, really go for it. Because no one else is. Fear is the enemy. You're not. I love you. Go forth. Spread beauty and light and yourself to others. Right now. I'm telling you, this is it. This moment you're listening to me, your toes should be going tap, 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 tap. You'd be like, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Or if you're not of that culture where you go, yeah, baby, I get it. Right? There's other cultures that are much more mellow. But that deep part is going, this resonates. I'm really excited. And I prefer to live in excitement and love than to live in fear and worry. I love you. I truly, truly believe in you. Now, hang up this podcast and truly invest in yourself. Until the next time. Thank you for listening to that episode. If you want to contact me, you can contact me on my website at englero.com. And you can also subscribe to the newsletter. Or you can find me anywhere on social media with Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much, and I hope to hear from you very soon.